Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side. Today is our topic is about what the Muslims call at the jail. At the jail simply in Arabic mean the liar. As simple as that, nothing more, nothing less. However, at the jail, somehow is an equal person for what the Christian call the Antichrist. Uh, but for sure, we will find a lot of fictions and a lot of stupid stories regarding this person who is mentioned by Muhammad for the first time. To make it simple, there's nobody ever mentioned that there is a person his name is a Dajjal before. So what is the idea of a Dajjal is coming from? As you see, this is the Muslim imagination for the guy. And as you see, the Muslims, they add in the top of his head 666 <laughs> yeah <clears throat> anyway at the jar a lot of stories muhammad he wrote about or he spoke about this person and i find that those stories is very embarrassing and very stupid and very naive and you have to be a truly, truly an idiot to believe in any of them. And today we will make a little bit of study. Uh, we will try to make it easy so people they can come to a conclusion and they can learn something important for, uh, you know, uh, for the sake of education. If we go right now in the Hadith and we type a Dajjal, in Arabic. Switch to Arabic. Dajjal. We will find tons of reference speaking about this person. And Muhammad always when he speak about the sign of judgment day, he speak about a Dajjal. As an example here in front of us, the Prophet said Al-Dajjal will come to the Medina and find angels guarding it. <laughs> so Allah willing, neither Al-Dajjal nor, nor Blake will be able to come near it. And this is an additional sign of Muhammad being a false prophet because the Blake, you know, infected Al-Medina many times in the last 1400 years. You can go check right now yourself. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is nothing but a false prophet. When you say, if I am a prophet and I say, okay, you, whoever live in the city will not be infected by any disease. And then people, they are infected in that disease. That's mean, obviously, Muhammad is a liar. You can go check, actually, to the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and you will see search about the plague as a disease infecting the city of al Medina and Mecca and all other uh, cities in Saudi Arabia. However, our topic today is not about this. Our topic is about that this person who Muhammad called him Al Dajjal. You see, in uh, um, in the English, you know, they 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 don't even write it right. They say Al Dajjal because in Arabic, here there is L, there is L. But they are trying to supposedly to teach you how to pronounce it. So Ad Dajjal, they make it shorter. But the fact it is Al Dajjal. So we'll come to Medina and find angels guarding it. Hmm. What is in Al Medina? Why why they will not be able to enter Al Medina? Why this guy he cannot enter Al Medina? Muhammad he continues saying, one day the Messenger of Allah mentioned al masih al dajjal here you see that the name of al messiah the messiah is attached to al dajjal if you notice al masih we taught you before that al in arabic al in arabic today is used as the a l is equal today in the arabic language today to the Al in the ancient Hebrew is equal <clears throat> to E L, which means El, equal 
to God. And until now, the uh, uh, you know the Hebrew is using the eel instead of al in most of the names. So you say Emmanuel, uh, Mikael, uh, Gabriel, uh, Israel, but the fact they used to be al, which means Israel, Gabriel, etc. Muhammad here is copying a name from the Hebrew language, inserting it in his religion, and he is adding to it a Dajjal. And you will see here, you will notice with me, that the Muslims, between two brackets, they put the Antichrist. The Antichrist. So the Muslims, by this translation, they are confirming to you that it's a different name for a same person you Christians believe in who is the Antichrist. Now, for sure, for me, I don't believe in any of this garbage have to do with the Antichrist, not even close. But this is not our topic. Our topic is, we will focus in this person who in Islam, his name is at dajjal Who is he, what he will do, why he is coming, why Muhammad believed that he is coming? Do really Muhammad believe in him, or he's just scaring the Muslims? Um, you know, uh, is he really uh, Muhammad making prophecy? Is it a real prophecy, or it's just a, a fiction story uh, Muhammad uh, creating? So we will try to find out what really what this is all is about. Uh, you know, when uh, when somebody he tried to present to me an idea, the first thing about about presenting ideas to people is. You know, you have to uh, give me a reasons. I mean, okay, we know why Satan is exist. Uh, we know why angels, what is the jobs of angels? Uh, we know what the jobs of a prophet. Uh, we know what the jobs of, uh, you know, many things mentioned in Islam. But what is the job of this guy? What he would do exactly? I mean, what is the point of him coming? You see, in Christianity, the Antichrist, it doesn't fit with this person. The Antichrist in, in Christianity is a clear proof that Jesus must be God. Because, you know, when the Muslims, even in their translation, they add the word Antichrist. <clears throat> Anti-Christ. So who is this guy? He is the enemy of a Christ. Is that correct? Do we agree, guys? When the Muslims agree that this guy, al Masihu al-Dajjal, he is the Antichrist, that means they agree that he is the enemy of a Christ. Okay. This, this guy, the enemy of Christ, is an amazing person. He has an amazing power. To the point, Muhammad, he said, that this Antichrist, he can order the rain. He can order the sky. He can order the cloud. He can order gold and silver and rubies to jump and come from the ground. He can order trees to give vegetation and, and the fruits immediately. I mean, who is this guy who can do that? How he can do that? Where did he get this power from? Imagine you say to the vegetation, grow, and they grow in, 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 in the spot right away. Allah, he could not do that. This Dajjal, according to Islam, is more powerful than Allah. You know, the Muslims, they keep saying that Muhammad have a miracle. What is the miracle they said to you, the Quran? But we remember that the Quran, according to Muslims, Muhammad received satanic verses. And the Muslims, they say to us, can you make Quran like it? Which is very stupid. As, as, as if I'm saying to you, the Quran is a stupid, and you say to me, can you make stupid thing like it? Satan, he made Quran, give it to Muhammad. It's called satanic verses. Satan, he can do miracles. Satan, he can create vegetation. Satan, he can order the rain. Satan, he can order the sky. Satan, he can order everybody. What, what, what Allah can do? Nothing. And look here, Muhammad, he started coming with more fictions. The Messenger of Allah, PBUH, said that Jal, the Antichrist, will be followed by 70,000 Jews of Asfahan. <laughs> 
اصفهان اور اصفهان من یهود و اصفهان so Muhammad he did not know even how to, to pronounce the name correctly of that city so he said this is city from that city which is supposedly uh, according to many uh, reference this is a city in Iran uh, you know those those Jews 70,000 Jews they will follow this guy okay, why 70 I mean that Muhammad he stuck with numbers either 40 or 70 the same you see Jesus he mentioned the number 70 and Muhammad he copied 70 that's it and he stuck with it 40 40 Jesus he fast 40 days Muhammad he mentioned 40 40 40 40 all over the Bible mentioned the number three Muhammad he repeat the number three all over the Bible repeat, say uh, number seven Muhammad repeat number seven all over now here 70,000 Jews will follow this guy and they are from Aspahan and this guy and those or those people they will Jews they will be dressed in robes of a green colored stain all the Jews they will wear one uniform it's a green colored stain any comment I mean what what this is about Muhammad even knew how many I mean 70,000 can we say a prophet please can we say like it is uh, 69,999 70,000 exactly okay no problem let us continue I heard the prophet saying people will run away from the judge the Antichrist seeking shelter in the mountains okay one day Allah opposed and narrated us a long narration okay what is the narration about a Dajjal and among things he narrated to us was that the Dajjal will come and he will be forbidden read carefully with me please he will what he will be forbidden to enter the mountains the mountain pass of Medina now, obviously this guy he will occupy the whole world he will uh, encamp in one of salt areas neighboring Medina and there will be there will appear to him a man who will be the best or one of the best of the people and he will say I testify this guy is taking Shahada I testify that you are a Dajjal whose story Allah Apostle has told us a Dajjal will say to his audience look look I will kill this man and then give him life you will have any doubt about my claim so that the judge now he will prove to them that he is God because he will kill him he will make him come back to life again they will reply no then at the jail will kill that man and then will make him alive question to Muslims I thought the only one who can give life is God How at the jail is killing the man and giving him life? So what happened now? We have two gods. And remember here with me, this is a guy he claimed to be the Messiah. Which means it's very normal to believe that this is can happen because he have the power of the Messiah. So Muhammad confirming to us that the false Messiah he is going to do miracles to confuse us the same as the Messiah he did including raising people from death but the Quran says that Allah who will let you hear you meet it is Allah who resurrect and it is Allah who cause people to die so how the the jail is going to do that Read with me carefully. How you do blasphemy against Allah 
and you you're to be a dead and he make you alive and he die he make you die and then he make you alive again so you cannot go against a person who he gave you life you were dead read with me carefully how you reject the faith in allah seeing that we're without life you were without life and gave you life then he will cause you to die and you will again and he will again bring you to life and again to him you return so the quran confirm if you see somebody he can give life you believe in him as god he's allah <laughs> do you see it guys do you see what i'm talking about the quran is questioning how you can reject such a person who can he can give you life make you die cause you to die which means he kill you like you know we say when when we say a person he die uh we don't say he was killed right but if you think about it he was because god he created us not to live forever he created us limited to our body so yes he did not physically killed us i mean by a knife or a sword or etc but did he really kill yes he did you know what we call it natural death natural death simply is god he decided that you will have it it's not your choice this is not a choice of you to live longer but we call it yet natural death and here in the quran muhammad he confirmed that the one who caused death is Allah. And how dare you to refuse to believe in someone after you die, he bring you back to life. Do we understand, guys, what I am uh, talking about? Do we understand? Is the idea clear? Here we have a contradiction. Based on this verse, a Dajjal must be God because he is the one, he, he can kill the man and he can bring him back to life. Based on this verse, the Messiah himself is God because he can cause you, you know, causing death is anyone can do it. I mean, you know, you can kill anyone, right? Causing death, you do not need to be God to cause death to people, but to bring them back to life, you have to be God. For this is have to do with recreation. You see, when I let us say like this guy he want to cut him to pieces he want to kill him all right he will kill this man and he will make him alive again in order to do that without using surgeries and etc that's mean you are able to recreate you see when let us say he cut his head he cut his neck the second you cut the neck of a person that's mean all his nerves all his uh uh, uh, vein or oh, it's damaged that's it so how we can make that happen again bring life and make it repaired that you have that's mean you have ability to make a recreation is the same when jesus he made the blind see the guy he cannot see his eyes is damaged physically they are damaged so what jesus did he create eyes for him in order to make him see again so he's a creator and the quran confirmed that the messiah the christ he can create it from the mother bird and then he breathed into the bird, breathed from his breathing. Imagine from the breath of Jesus, there is a flying bird right now in the sky made by Jesus, according to Islam. And yet the Muslim, they say to us, Jesus was just a prophet. All of this is a contradiction. How Muhammad, he say that this man, he can bring people to life. Do we have any Muslim? He want to explain to us how Muhammad he makes such a claim. How this guy he can bring people. Who's he? Who is this guy at the Jal who can bring people to life? If we go again to the Quran, we will find more contradiction about this. You know the Quran uh, is a chain of stupid stories and collection of fictions and madness. In here. Chapter 2, verse number 73. I don't know how many of you knows, uh, uh, you know, uh, why the chapter of the cow is called the chapter of the cow. How many of you knows why? Let us see. How many of you knows why Allah or why Muslims, they call the chapter of the cow, the chapter of the cow? 
I mean, isn't it weird that those people they have such names? I find it really weird. I mean, from all the names, like those verses speak about Musa, they speak about many things. Call it the chapter of Musa. What about we call it the chapter of Musa? The cow? The reason they call it the chapter of because supposedly in this chapter Allah he made a miracle if we go to chapter 2 verse number 73 <clears throat> you can read uh, you can read the chapter of a few verses before a few verses after it doesn't matter really you know but if we go and we read the interpretation for this verse what is the interpretation the Quran is speaking about Allah resurrecting people from death how how Allah here resurrect people from death is it true that we can bring a cow or the meat of a cow and we hit somebody with it and then we bring him back to life? The story is supposedly about a guy who he was killed by a violent kill killing by a sword or, or, or a dagger or a, a knife and he, you know, he's dead. So now the... the uh, the, the the believers they want to know who is the one who killed him so allah told them in order to know how he was killed bring a cow slaughter a cow and then they beat him with the cow meat some they say that they did beat him with the tail they beat the beat the, 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 the dead guy with the tail of the cow, some they say with the tongue, some they say with the penis, it doesn't, doesn't matter. So we beat the dead guy, and then Allah, he bring him back to life. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul here? If we go to the interpretation for this verse, <clears throat> Let us see Ibn Kathir. So the Muslim, they will not say, I'm making things up. You know, you know them. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. They are unhappy. Unhappy people. All right. So we said, strike him, the dead man, with a piece of it, between the bracket, the cow, <laughs> Meaning, any part of the cow will produce the miracle if they struck the dead man with it. We were not told which part the cow is they used. As this matter, it does not benefit us either in matter of life or religion. <laughs> this guy supposedly is being smart. By the way, brother and sister, is a they did not tell us they bought him with what part of the cow. It might be his penis, it might be his tongue, it might be the tail, because the hadith, by the way, the interpretation, the bent in the person who is making interpretation, some they say the tail, some say the tongue, say the same, blah, 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 blah. However, Ibn Kathir trying to be smart, he says, it doesn't matter really what they beat him with, but it doesn't benefit us in the religion. However, otherwise, Allah would have made it clear to us. So Allah, he didn't want, want to make it clear. He wanted to make it mysterious. <laughs> look, look at this. Instead, Allah, he made this matter uh, like any clear. So this is why we should leave it alone. Leave it unknown. Thus, Allah being bring the dead to life. How, this is how Allah, he bring the dead to life. By what? By hitting you by a cow. Have you ever heard of such a God? So we have a guy, his name is the false Messiah. 
he bring a person to life without hitting him with any cow with any beef with any sheep with any pork with any hammer but Allah he need to hit you with the cow in order to bring you to life. is that the recipe is that the recipe of resurrection this is why if you go like right now by the way they are waiting to find Jamal Khashoggi the one who was supposed to be killed in the Saudi embassy if they can't find his body all what they need to do they bring some beef and they hit the hell of him with the beef and the guy will wake up and he will say the king of Saudi Arabia killed me and then he will die right away so we have a Dajjal who is a false messiah yet he can create people he can bring people from death he can kill them bring them to life but Allah he cannot do that unless he use a magical voodoo trick I'm so happy that Allah did not use a chicken. By the way, Allah, can we use a chicken? I mean, what is unique about the cow? If there's any Muslim want to tell us why the cow specifically? Hello? Can we use a donkey? What about a camel? A cow? I want everybody to think carefully and consider seriously to have a cow or beef always in your house. So in case you die, you have the rescue. By the way, the Muslims, they made a scientific miracle about this. They speak about something that if you massage the heart and look how amazing the lie is. This guy, he was killed violently by the sword. And the Muslim, they make this about massaging the heart. They said in this article, you can go right now, the miracle of massaging the heart in the Quran. Let me find it. Just to show you how they fabricate the stories when the story is totally different. They make it something totally far away from what it is i'm trying to remember what is the name of the uh, let's see Uh, I need to find the name to to get the exact uh, what they call what they say. I'm not sure what was the name of this miracle, but anyway, uh, if you find it, you will see it's, it says exactly. Actually, it is in my book. If you have my book, I, because I was refuting their lies, and imagine they changed the meaning from this guy. He was he's dead, and he was beaten by beaten by uh, uh, by by a cow. To make it about a heart massage heart massage that somebody here right now in the spot he have a heart attack or something uh, uh, you can maybe try to help him to to uh, to keep his his uh, his heart uh, you know working this is totally different this is a guy who is killed he's dead and he was killed violently They have no dignity and they have no honor when they fabricate those stories. Let me be sure that my uh, my Skype is on. So in case there is any Abdul would like to call me. As you know, I, I love Abduls. They are my favorite. And we need always Abdul to call so they can give us the wisdom of Islam. Islam is full of wisdom. I mean, it's all over. There is no religion in the world have wisdom as much as Islam. We have to admit. I don't know what to say to you. You might be disappointed because I am saying that to you, but you notice that. It was the first one in the world who discovered that 
you can bring somebody to life by beating him by the tail of the cow and this is obviously proven by science even if he was killed by the sword okay where is the skype all right if you are a muslim give me a minute and i will be in skype in few seconds so you can call me if you wish here we go we are rogan <coughs> All right, we are already in Skype. That's wonderful. Let us go back. Now, if there is any Muslim would like to call, please feel free. All right, and I will be happy to speak to you. This is how Allah He bring people to life, bring dead to life. This is the way of Allah bringing people to life. Okay, Muslims, how come Jesus, when he brought people to life, he did not beat anyone with any beef or chicken or cows? And why the false Messiah, as we see here in the story, do not need to beat this guy, the dead guy, by chicken or beef or cow? How come all those, they can do what Allah cannot do? And then you will see here, This man, he will kill this man, this at the jail, the false messiah. Then that the jail will kill that man, so the killing will happen. And then he will make him alive. What? Muslims, where this guy is getting his power to bring people from death to life? Who is the Muslim have the answer? How and where and from where he got this energy or this superpower? Any Muslim? No answer. I mean, when you say to me that this person, he can bring people to life and he will call himself the Messiah, and he can order vegetation and he can order trees and he can order the, the gold and the silver and he can order the cloud he can order the moon he can order the sun so what why people will not believe in him give me a reason for people not to believe in him this person sound like he is more god than your god muslims because at least he can do things and people they can see. Your God, Allah never do any of those things. Can Allah order the cloud? Show me. Allah in the Quran, he explained how the ice is made. How? He said that there's ice coming from mountains in heaven. So what Allah do in order to make ice, he just to break it from there. Is that right? <laughs> Oh. oh, I'm typing in English. Hold on. Alam tara anna Allah yuzij sahaban thumma yu'allifu baynahu ويجعله ركاما فطر الودق يخرج من خلاله وينزل من السماء من جبال فيها من برد من برد فيصيب به من يشاء how in the world this is happening Allah cannot even make ice Allah he break ice from a mountain which is in the sky and he throw it at us chapter 24 verse number 43 He sent 
down from the heaven mountains where is there is where is where in is hail the translation is kind of funny stupid i mean what it says here so allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven so there's mountains of ice in heaven and allah he throw it and he strike the one he don't like with it so if you've been ever driving or walking in the street and ice fell on the top of your head my friend Allah is targeting you and Allah he don't buy eyes from Walmart or any store no Allah he get it from a mountain in heaven there's a there's a fake book this is not in the Bible don't take me wrong there's a fake book it's called the book of Enoch anyone heard of it this is not part of the Bible, the book of Enoch, not the one, not Enoch, the one we, we know in the Bible. The book of Enoch, full of stories, fabulous stories about fictions. And in that book, you will find that God, he have a storage house for gold, for silver, for everything, including ice, including anything. So if you want to get something, you go to the warehouse. And the warehouse have a, have a, a keeper. There's a keeper for the, for, for the warehouse. So Muhammad obviously is taking those stories from those some funny stories he learned maybe from the Jews that God he collect his eyes from mountains in heaven and he strike the one he don't like with it. All right. And here again additionally proof that Muhammad cannot be a prophet because this is a false stupid teaching. By the way guys, <clears throat> if you live in Saudi Arabia and you want to have some ice in the top of your head to cool down we can make a contract with you to provide you a solution so you can get ice and we can give you we cannot provide you the ice to be honest with you only Allah can provide you with the ice but this is a solution you make Allah angry Allah he throw ice at you and this way you get a free ice in the middle of the desert what do you say as long Allah he send ice at the those who he don't like the one who is doing bad so if you live in the middle of the desert and you think you are dying you need water or something or you need to cool down it's so hot or what you need to do some say bad words to Allah and then Allah he will start throwing ice at you and then you collect the ice and you put it with the champagne and have fun in the middle of the desert you do not need to take with you a refrigerator or anything and you get water for free So this is a funny story proving to us again that Muhammad is really an idiot and whoever believe in Muhammad he must be an idiot how in the world you believe in this and the funny the Muslim they say to you this is a miracle brother this is a miracle we continue studying Mr. Ad-Dajjal let us see what this Dajjal story is going to end with. <clears throat> All right. We continue here. Uh, let us see if this one, because you know, there is a, yeah, look at this one. Look at this one, guys. <laughs> I heard the prophet PBUH saying that Jal the Antichrist will come forth and the person from amongst the believers will go toward him. The armed watchman of the Jal will meet him and will say to him, Where do you want intend to go? Huh? Where do you want to go? He will say, I intend to go to this one who has appeared. They will say to him, don't you believe in our Lord? Ah, look here clearly that this is a Dajjal. He is claiming to be God. I remember here how Muhammad, he did expose himself. The Muslim, they say that the Messiah cannot be God. And nobody should believe that he's God. And the Messiah never claimed to be God. 
then if this is true why the messiah which is the false messiah in this case he claimed to be lord remember he is coming to claim that he is the messiah if the real messiah never claimed to be lord then he will not do what the messiah did not do he will not claim something the messiah did not say this person is coming with powerful miracles to convince you that he is the messiah but in the top of that he wants you to believe that he is lord which means muhammad he confirmed that the dajjal or the false messiah or the antichrist is simply trying to copy Christ and say the same as what Christ he said that I am your Lord and the Muslim they said to me where Jesus said I am your Lord worship me that is confirming that the Messiah must be was he was and he is the God in Islam and Christianity then he will say there there ie we know him by Allah this guy he would say we know him by Allah without any partners is nothing hiding about our Rub Rub it's a it's a Hebrew word mean Rabbi which mean Lord some of them will say let us kill him but some others will say has your Lord the Jal not forbidden you to kill anyone without a consent look at the Jal is a is a guy of justice so they will take him to the Dajjal, which means the false messiah. When the believers will see him, when the believer will see him, which means the guy who came to meet him, he will say, Oh people, this is the Dajjal, which means this is the liar, about whom the messenger of Allah, B B B U H, has informed us. The Dajjal will have him laid in his stomach and have his head. So he will cut his head. He will struck on his back and on his stomach the jail will ask him don't you believe in me the, the jail now is talking to this guy don't you believe in me he will say you are the false messiah the false messiah Okay, but uh, Muslims, why? What this guy will accomplish from being the false Messiah? You did not tell us. And why people are calling him Lord? Why he chose the Messiah to take and to clone? I mean, why he don't claim to be Allah himself? As you see, he's he's saying, "I am Lord, worship me." Why he chose the Messiah? He could not find better character so people they will love and they follow more than the Messiah. Yes, this is how it is. Why he did not say, I am Muhammad, I'm coming back? Why the Messiah? Those questions Muslims have no answer for. Is this guy is the devil? Who is a Muslim is willing to answer us? Is this guy is the devil? Any Muslim, may they, may they. Copy paste nation. Is this false Messiah? Is he the devil? Who is a Muslim? He have an answer. Look at the text. We have, like, I don't know why today we don't have uh, too many people here. We have 274. Why? Yesterday we have 400 something. What happened? Where is where is everybody? Huh? Because we, you know, unbelievable. Okay, let, let me tell you. If you don't bring me another 200 right now, I'm going to call the Dajjal and he will do things for you. You will not believe it. In the best scenario, I will call Allah. Remember, I speak Arabic. I am an Arab like him. He know my language. He can understand what I want. And I will ask him to strike you with ice. An ice ice burger is going to fade over your screen, and here we go. We'll make hole in your in your in your in your roof. Do you want that? Only two hundred seventy-seven. 
Unbelievable. How disappointing. Anyway, 277 is a lot, my friend. I'm just joking. Our Lord, the Messiah, our Savior, he have a 12 men. Listen carefully. Don't you believe in me? And then the guy, he will put him down, and the jail, he will question him. And then at the jail, he's going to do something bad for him. What he will do, look what he will do. Then he will give orders to have him sown by saw. Like what? Anyone watch American horror movies before? I did. I saw Obama many times. I saw Hillary Clinton many times. I see American news many times. I mean, I, I, everything you see in the world today is a horror. A guy, he go in the embassy to sign a paper. He don't come out. They made him pieces and they cream him and they send him in the sewage. So the guy at the jail will bring a saw. And will saw this person two parts. He will give his order to have him sawn with a saw into two from the parting of his hair up to his legs. If, 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 if. I mean, like. <laughs> I mean, that's fun, man. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. This is a romantic scene. Close your eyes. Imagine there's a beautiful believer. I mean, I thought only ISIS do that, and Muhammad looked like there's a competition. At Dajjal, he would do that too. Isn't it at Dajjal who split a woman two pieces when she was alive and she is over the age of 80? Her name is Umm Qurfa. Muhammad did that. So the Dajjal is trying to copy Muhammad, mashallah, alhamdulillah. So now they saw him into two parts, from his head all down, all down to his leg. But you know, there is something I don't understand here. Hold on. You know, I am very good in drawing, right? I told you that I was, uh, I had a Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize for, for a drawing. Very well artist I am, you know, very well known. If there is a man, how the man look like? This is how the man look like. Let us imagine he is an alien. This is the man. This is his neck. This is his shoulders. Okay. All right. Now those are his hands. Those are his legs. Okay. Now they want to cut him pieces. What do you mean they cut him pieces all the way down to his legs? Here there's nothing, my friend. After they pass this point here, here, they do not need to cut anymore. What do you mean they cut him down all the way to his legs? Are you saying to me this guy, his legs is attached together? Unbelievable. By the way, I have copyright over this drawing because I know it's going to be sold by auction one day and they will say uh, an, an, the arts of a Christian prince. And you will see... Hillary Clinton, she will make a lot of money from it. And, uh, uh, you know, the Democrat, they will use it. And they will say, this is what happened when you vote for Trump. Art is messed up. They will accuse Trump of this. You know, they will say, see, this guy, he's an Arab. But because of discrimination in the borders, he used to be an artist in the previous days in the Middle East. But since Trump, he scared the hell of him. He lost his ability to draw anything. And let us blame the Jews. True story. We go back. So the guy, he will be cut to pieces by a saw. Oh, by the way, I bought a saw to, to work in my, in my roof. So in case any one of you <laughs> thinking about something, let me know. But don't ever use it with your mother-in-law. Use it only with the drawing, not with the human. Be careful. Otherwise, you are must be at the jail. So now this guy, he cut this person, the false messiah, he cut, he cut this person into two pieces. All the way from his hair up down to his legs, as you see. And after that, the jail will walk between the two halves and will say to him, what the heck? Hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, this is one need another need a special drawing. There is some Muslims here are very slow. They will not understand what's happening here. So I need to make it more clear, please. So now we have this guy. He became two parts. So this is half of his head. All right. And half of his neck here. And then half of his shoulder. And then there is only one leg. And here there is the other half. And this is half of his neck. And this is half of his body. And this is half of his leg. And now at the Dajjal is going to walk between. Let us draw Mr. Dajjal. We will make him a blue. This is Mr. Dajjal. Oh, we need to uh, to make it less. Uh, hold on, hold on. Guys, if you want to learn how to, uh, I'm sure many of you are impressed with my drawing and you are wondering how I learned all of this. I cannot tell you really, it's a gift. It's a gift and a curse, as they say in America. I mean, it's one of the funny things and I heard in my life, it's a gift and a curse. Yeah, right. Anyway, so we go here, we draw a, 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 a Dajjal. This is a Dajjal. He will walk. A Dajjal is handsome, by the way. He looked like a Sylvester Stallone. And he have a beard, too. This is his beard. All right. And then this is his neck. You have big muscles. You have two guns in the side. He is now here standing. Those are his legs. Okay. His ass is big. MashaAllah. And here he have a big, big magnum, 500. And those are his legs. So at the jail now will stand between the two parts of the person and he will say to him, Stand up. Hey, hold on, hold on. How he will stand up when you are between him? Do you know why I now I I draw this uh, this uh, this uh, drawing just to show you how stupid the, the the story. In order for this guy to stand up, he have to be together. In order to be together, this guy he have to move from between his two parts. People, are you listening? Are you are you listening? <laughs> you see, the problem is people they read the stories, but they are not. They don't read it deep. I mean, people they read, but they don't notice what how funny, how stupid the story. That's why I'm. You might think I'm just wasting time drawing. The, I'm not drawing for wasting your time. I'm just showing you how stupid the story. How this guy is two parts, and now he is standing between the two parts, and yet he says to him, "Go back together and stand up." He cannot go back together. He's standing between the two parts. At least move, you idiot. Hello? Somebody tell Muhammad to change the scenario. Tell Muhammad that he should say that he stood in the top of his, uh, in the side of his head, in the side of his right side, but not in the middle. I mean, the guy is between the two half. Read, read it with me. I'm not saying that. You see, this is what the hadith is saying. I remember this guy when he, he was speaking about farting. You remember the guy, the, the sheikh and the farting, when he said the shaitan, he played with your bows? He said, it's, the hadith says so. The hadith says so. I did not say that. The hadith says so. Like, don't laugh at me. I'm not the idiot. It's your prophet. So this guy is between two halves, and yet he want to say to the guy, stand up. Brothers and sisters, if any one of you feel like want to convert to Islam, please don't hesitate. Please. Islam is a religion of stories, which is true. And by the way, me, myself, I saw a person who was two half, and the Prophet Muhammad was standing between his two half, 
and the reason he was standing between two half because it was there is a sign there it says a stop sign for bus a Muslim saying in Arabic al Islam al haq absolutely can't you see Islam is religion of the truth this is the truth the guy is two pieces and now the Dajjal is standing between the two halves and saying that the two halves stand up so now, now the guy will stand up what he is two halves still or he will be one person let us see what will happen I'm so excited to see what is coming are you excited with me let us read together so he will say to him stand up and he will stand on his feet like hold on shouldn't you put him together first are you saying to me that this guy he will stand up two half so now we have two and they are standing up hello 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 Hello, Abdul, min fadlak ya inay. Da -da 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 Call me Abdul. We are waiting for you. Any Abdul who would like to call me right now. Da -da 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 call me Abdul. It is fun to hear you. Any Abdul? I mean, this is amazing. I'm sure many of you inside his heart he feel he want to convert it's not only true story it's not only logical it's not only scientific it's not only horror it is exciting and full of actions and spices so now we have a guy who is two half is going to stand up Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Anyone? Obviously, Muhammad here is not lying. Let us continue the story. It's like a cartoon, but it's a horrible cartoon. And then he will, then uh, he will then say, "Don't you believe in me?" What? What? The guy now is dead. He cut him two halves and he asked him to stand up. And you guys, oh, hold on, hold on. Anyone remember something it's called? How how they, how they write it in English? I don't watch those kind of movies. Oh, hold on. What, what they call it? What they call it? zombie the guy now is dead and he is two pieces and now he order him to stand up two pieces not one person those zombies are one person this guy is two pieces like the, the the movies in america did not reach that part yet where they can do that in the movies yet i think this is a good idea for those who make movies so this guy now is two pieces and yet he is standing up and now he is going to talk this is literally the zombie he, he did not bring him back to life yet he is dead any muslim when i call us say something Any Muslim want to say something? Muslims, do you want to call me and say like, uh, and I will ask you, do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Because I read for you. Because I read for you all the stupid story. You, do you love me? How much the Muslims hate me? 
for reading for them what their prophet said. I do nothing. I just read for them what their prophet said. And because it's so stupid, so silly, they hate me instead of laughing at their prophet and say, this is not his fault. This guy is just reading for us how stupid, how silly our prophet is. But they hate me. Everybody in the house say, I hate you. I hate you. Be honest with you, Muslims. How many of you hate me for reading this to you? Huh? How many? Each time I read something to the Muslims, they get upset. I mean, I'm reading for you what the Prophet, peace upon him, said. Why you get upset from me? Be upset from the one who said this story. Let us continue. Then the guy, he is now two part, two halves. And he will stand, which means he's standing in one feet. Each part of him, you see, he is this, this man, he is two halves, zombie. And he is going to stand in his feet. So which means one part standing in one feet, the other part standing in one feet. Then he will say to him, don't you believe in me? The person will say, it has added in my inside that you are a Dajjal. It's like, it's like a zombie. I mean, look, it has added in my, to my inside. It's like a program, you know? So now we have we have a guy we killed him still he stand up he's still saying the same it has been added in to my inside that you are a dajjal which means the liar is it this is fun the guy he is dead and now he is standing in two two parts each part standing in one foot i don't know how he can balance himself and then he is talking by the way which means He's talking in the same time, his tongue, because his tongue must be cut to pieces. So the two tongues in the same time, they are saying, it has added to my inside that you are a Dajjal. Like, what? That's fun. This is, this, this is the incredible. I cannot believe how, how beautiful this story is. You called? What do you mean you called? What do you mean you called? My, my, my Skype is on. Everybody will hear you if you call. Don't lie. Don't lie. Listen, anyone lie, anyone lie will go to the heaven of the prophet. Don't, don't do lie. And you know what will happen to you in the heaven of the prophet. There's 80,000 horny females that will jump on you. And you can imagine what they will do to your willy. 80,000 women? Is that heaven or this is hell? Why you don't lie? You know, Muhammad, he lie. Do you want me to show you? Muhammad, he lie. The prophet, he lie. Oh, you know, Islam, all of it is a lie. Okay, let me call you. Maybe maybe this guy is trying to call me, but maybe he have a bad connection. Let us see. Hold on. Oh, this is a different person. He is, uh, look like we have a Muslim who left Islam now. All right, that's wonderful. I'm calling him. It says unavailable. I don't know. Well, it looks like we have a Muslim who left Islam. He sent me a message. He's trying to call us. Um, he said to me, I have accepted Jesus as my Lord. Uh, but you know, I will I am still not there yet, but I have left Islam and now I'm looking into Christianity. But brother, please, I just have one request from you. I was lucky that my brother found a video of me debating you, and was I was okay with in fact, he is uh, having doubt about Islam. So oh, this guy, he was debating me, and now he left Islam. And now his brother, he, he watched the debate between me and him. All right. All right, okay. Uh, 
Okay. All right. I, uh, let me know what the name of the uh, the debate, my friend, so I can take it off. He's asking me to take it off from YouTube. You see, guys, when you call me in YouTube, if you don't want, if you are a Muslim, you are a Muslim yesterday, today you became a Christian, what I can do? I mean, how I can take off uh, what a debate? People, they download my videos, they share it everywhere. You call me, you were a Muslim, you debated me, uh, you know, uh, it's out of my hand that the second the second I'm posting right now in YouTube that's it it's in YouTube because everybody download my videos anyway let's continue <clears throat> so then he will say to him don't you believe in me the person will say it has had added to my to my inside that you are at the jail he will add which mean at the jail and notice with me here the Muslims when they speak at the at the jail, they are making it as he with big capital letter. He, it is he, always he. You see, wherever they go, when they say speak about the Dajjal, he as a big god. He see, they never mention he as a small he, it's always big he. No problem, no problem, my, my friend, no problem. Nobody, you know your name? I don't even know your name. Guys, when you call me in Skype, I don't know your name. First of all, you can change your name, make it whatever you want, call it potato, call it tomato, call it a Dajjal, call it cheese kebab, call it whatever you want. Same time, if you don't want to reveal your ID to people you speak to online, never use your real name in any form, in Skype, in Facebook, etc. Let us continue. So he will add, all people he will not be able to behave with anyone amongst the people in such a manner after me at the jail will kill him, will try to kill him. To space between his neck and collarbone and will turn into Cooper and he will find no way to kill him. What, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is something. I don't know how I can draw that. Who is good in drawing here can help me. So now we have a guy who became two pieces. And then at the jail, he cut him two pieces from his head to his toe. He have two tongues. He have two feet. He is two parts. And yet he say that in my sight, it was added that you are at the jail. He will add, oh people, he will not be able to behave with anyone amongst the people in such a manner after me. At the jail, will try to kill him. But what do you mean he tried to kill him? He's already dead. <laughs> the guy is already dead and he cut him to pieces. What do you mean that the jail will try to kill him? The space between his neck and the collarbone will turn into Cooper if, 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 if. and he will find no way to kill him okay hold on we need to draw this I have to use my art again have patience with me be honest with me guys don't you like my artistic uh, drawing do you think guys I should make uh, like uh, maybe like I open a gallery to sell my art if you go to the galleries you see in France and those countries, I mean, it's a stupid. You don't understand anything in the drawing. It's like a cat while jumping all over. And then they say it for 20,000, 50,000, uh, uh, you know, euro. I mean, this is even better and make more sense. So now we have this guy. He is two pieces. Let us go back to zero. This guy is two pieces. One piece here. And one piece here. And now Allah will make between the two pieces Cooper. 
Yes, brother Cooper. <laughs> Guys, how the Cooper look like? Uh, we should make it yellow. Let us make it yellow. All this area, brother, is going to be filled up with Cooper. If 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 mean that is astonishing miracle i never thought about such a thing the guy now is two part and allah he put between the two part cooper you see in america today we call it a crazy glue <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! This is so beautiful, and this is so. Um, this is true. This must be true story. This is this is a, this is a very 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 true story. Who can reject this story? Be honest with me. Who can reject such an amazing truth? This is the Prophet Muhammad saying that. The Prophet Muhammad saying that a Muslim guy will be killed by a Dajjal and the Dajjal will cut him to pieces by a saw. Let, let me let me tell you how the saw works. The saw of the Dajjal is very sharp, my friend. So it's going to be like this. Okay? Like this is the saw of the Dajjal. It's going to be like here. Two part. So now he's two part, but Allah, he will fix that. How Allah will fix that? Allah will fill this area, all of it with the Cooper. And those stories are true stories. I can bring you witnesses. Any Muslim can tell me why Allah, he will choose Cooper to glue this guy together. Is that because Cooper is a cheap or because it was very famous at that time? Why Cooper? Why out of all the colors in the world, Allah and, and the metals and the material, why Allah he chose Cooper? If you remember, do you remember guys, Allah mentioned the Cooper in somewhere? Anyone remember? Do you remember where Allah he mentioned the story of Cooper? Who remember? The one who remember where it's mentioned in the Quran, the story of the Cooper, I will make you an admin in my chat when we are not open. As a reward for you. Nobody remember? I'm so disappointed. Thank you, Yafur. Yafur, you see, Yafur is the name of the donkey of the Prophet. This person is very, very smart. He just said the story of Alexander the Great. You remember when Alexander the Great, he went to a place where he found the sun set in the murky water. And this, by the way, is true. In the Middle East, always the sun, the always the sun, the sun set in murky water because all the water around us is dirty. It's impossible to find the water is not murky. Even the water you drink. You open the faucet, the water is murky. You take a shower, the water is murky. You walk in the street, the street is murky. The sky is murky. Everything is murky. Even actually, we use, according to my father, the grand-grand-grandfather, we used to have a, co a, 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 a king. His name is Murky uh, or Bright. True story. So who is the Muslim when I tell me why Allah could not find a way to fix the guy and glue him together except Cooper. Cooper? I mean, what? why Allah stuck with the Cooper? Alexander the Great, the guys, they said to him, there's a people, they are called people of Gog and Magog. Gog. And Muhammad, he stole the name from the, from the Bible, but this is not what the Bible says. How many of you is coming here to learn and how many of you is coming to love? And how many of you is coming for both? Be honest. I know, I know. 
this is education program but it is kind very much entertaining i know it's okay it's okay it's okay and you know what i not i'm not upset even if you are gluing yourself together after you love so much with the with the glue it's called cooper cooper and you tell me that allah do not know anything about chemical and about material he know he know the cooper how allah he knew the cooper if allah is not god how allah knew about the cooper you tell me only gods know about cooper It is Cooper, Cooper, not Cooper. Somebody told me it is Cooper, not Cooper. Who care? <laughs> it is the same. <laughs> Cooper. Allah will glue him with the Cooper? Uh, what will happen? You are laughing at me? Oh, my friend, I was wondering why you are laughing. I thought you are laughing at Allah. <laughs> okay, what about you call me and you tell me, what do you think about your prophet saying all those amazing stuff, my brother? As long as you are laughing at me, do you like to call me? Do you really believe in this, this, this story? Who is a brave Muslim is willing to call and tell me what he believe in? Do you really agree that Muhammad is telling the truth? I saw movies about people who they turn into stones and salt and etc. But this is new. Your Allah supposedly now is making this person stay alive by using Cooper together. He glued him and he made him stay alive so the guy he will not be able to kill him. The guy is two pieces and the guy is still alive. Read with me. After that, after what? After the Dajjal, he made him two pieces. After the Dajjal, the, 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 the Dajjal will walk between the two halves. So the guy now is two halves already. And he will say to him, stand up and he will stand up hmm? so what do you mean they saw him in two pieces two pieces and allah he glue him by cooper and he made him to avoid this guy from killing him do you really muslims believe that this guy became two pieces still he's alive The Dajjal will try to kill him. The Dajjal will try to kill him. Okay. Sound interesting. I took a snapshot so we don't draw it again. After the Dajjal, he do that. He tried to kill him. The space between his neck and collarbone will turn into Cooper and he will find no way to kill him. So he will catch hold of him by his hand and feet and throw him into what appeared to be the fire. Oof, 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 oof. The people will think that he has been thrown into the fire, whereas he will be thrown into Jannah. Oof what a nice movie so guys the Dajjal he will cut the guy to pieces and then Allah will glue the pieces by a cooper and then the Dajjal because he is unsuccessful to kill him he will take him from his feet grab him and he throw him at the fire which appeared to be a fire but in fact it is the Jannah of Allah <laughs> Oh boy, I mean, any Muslim?
any comment and look how Muhammad he contradict himself isn't it Muhammad the same story he said to us he said that he will kill the man in the previous hadith correct guys isn't it Muhammad he said in the previous hadith read with me carefully a man he will come to the Dajjal he will say to him I testify that you are a Dajjal which means you are the first Messiah the first the liar who astray Allah apostle whose story Allah apostle has told us at the Dajjal will say to him will say to his audience look if I kill this man and then I give him life you will have no doubt about me about my claim they will reply no which means we will not have any doubt then at the Dajjal will kill him and this is additional proof that Muhammad is a liar. Once he say he will not be able to kill him, and once he say he will kill him. Do you see it? Any Muslim have a comment? How Muhammad, the same guy telling the same story twice, and each time the story is different. In this story, this guy will be killed. In the other story, that the Dajjal will cut him to pieces and Allah will glue him with a cooper and yet he is going to be alive. Any Abdul? Guys, focus with me in the topic. Don't fight with each other. I mean, leave the Muslims alone. Leave the Muslims alone. Okay, let me tell you this. Imagine, imagine, God forbid, you wake up in the morning, you find yourself a Muslim. I mean, imagine how horrible it is. And you believe that there is a Dajjal, he cut a guy to pieces, and then the guy, he told them to stand up, and the guy stand up, he have two tongues, he have two feet, he have two parts. And then the guy at the Dajjal, he tried to kill him. After this, he tried to kill him, he cut him to pieces. Allah, he made the two half glued by Cooper, do you want that to happen to you? Put yourself in his shoe. Huh? Yeah, no problem. You know, the moderator, they can delete a, a chat. And, and even YouTube can delete a chat automatically, my friend. If there is any bad words, there's a filtering for words. So the words, they will disappear right away, by even by Google. Don't worry about that. You see, guys, the chat is not really my concern. And, uh, you know, people, they say whatever they want. Here we have a topic. Anything in the chat, it doesn't count for me. The one who want to debate me, call me. And you know, before I forget, uh, a Muslim he post, a Muslim he post, in YouTube he's saying under my in, under my videos he's saying all the Christian stories are fictions and a lie, and even they are copying from previous stories. As an example, they say to you that the story of Jesus making wine is exist in the Greek mythology for a previous God. And I say to the Abdul, and whoever post, copy and paste, you are a liar. This is the mythology of the God you are talking about of the Greece. It doesn't say that he is the one who made the wine or the, the water wine. It says that a villager, he came to him, he gave him a fruit. He gave him back in return a wine. So what the mythology of the Greek is, that this is the first God who discovered the wine. He did not make wine from the water. Copy paste nation, it doesn't help. You can make lies as much as you want. There's other Abdul, stupid Abdul. He said that the story of Jesus about being a son of a virgin is, is taken from a Krishna. But the idiot is stupid. He don't even read. Go and see Krishna. He has seven brothers. And his mother is not virgins. His mother and his father, they were, he was born in jail. His father and his mother was in jail. What version? <laughs> they are dumb. They are dummy. 
they are copy paste and they don't know what they are talking about and when you say as a muslim that the story of jesus born of a virgin is coming coming from a krishna you just destroy the quran because the quran approved the story so not only you are ignorant about the krishna not only you are ignorant about what you are talking about not only you are stupid with your claim full of lies in the top of that you just destroyed your stupid quran Thank you very much. Why they lie? Why they lie? The story of Jesus making wine is taken from a Greek God. You are right. Here we go, the story of the Greek God in front of us with the reference. Why you lie? Huh? Lying is so easy, but you should not be a victim of lies. You know, you are a person who knows how to write, how to read. You have the age of internet where you can find tons of information in a second you do not even need to go to the library don't make people fool you you will find this posted everywhere in the internet by a bunch of liars who copy paste from each other like now you hear from somebody, you're an atheist, you hear from somebody that, oh, the Greek, they have a God who the, he, who he is the one who made the wine uh, uh, from water. This is not, not true. It doesn't say that. He made the, gr the, the grape fruit, the juice. He, he is the one who discovered how to make it. This is what it says, the story. <laughs> he did not make a miracle. He did not make the water wine. In the story of Jesus, they did not give him grape. They gave him water. They did not give him a grape juice. And he said to them, okay, I will make it for you wine in two seconds. Why, you, why people lie? So when you speak, when you watch a video and you watch somebody making what it's called like documentary, which has nothing to do with documentary because documentary have to provide document. You have to provide at least history, regardless if it's true or not. Which means if history says that, we go with the history. Let's see what the history said. If history said that Alexander the Great used to fly in the top of a flying carpet, that is history and we will go with it doesn't mean we will believe it but at least provide historian or historical document when we speak about islam we don't go and look for historian because muhammad and the muslims are the best historian they are the one who gave us all the funny stupid stories about muhammad i am not reading my own this is what muslims gave me I'm not creating stories. I'm not fabricating documentary. It is from your book. Additional fiction story about a Dajjal that this guy, he have a funny face. He's very handsome, but he have a problem with the right eye. <laughs> the prophet the prophet peace upon him how he knew that the dajjal have a problem with the right eye is that a birth defect <laughs> any abdul can tell us what's happening here the dajjal he can raise people from death he can command the trees, he can command the sky, he can do miracles, but yet he cannot fix his eye. Are you sure?
and how Muhammad he got those information and where he got it from any Muslim want to kill me and tell you like tell me what you Muslims believe in how in the world you believe in such a madness so this guy he can do all kinds of miracles but he cannot fix his eye He can order a man who he cut him two pieces to stand up. He can kill and bring people to life. He can order gold and silver to come from the ground. He can order trees to follow him. He can order cloud to shade him. He can order the rain to fail on him. But he cannot fix his eye. Let me tell you about a solution, my friend. You can go these days to any eye doctors and they will do a surgery for you and they will make your eye look beautiful as if it is real, even if it's fake, which means nobody will notice that his eye have a problem. How we can fix that now? Is that correct, guys? Is it true that in the, in the, in the, in the field of medicine today, they can make you your eye, even if you are blind, they will make you look like you have a real eye. They can install a fake eye. How you will know? They can fix the look of the eye. They can fix the look of the nose, the lips, the mouth. Don't you see? Let me tell you about one of my, you know, my previous wives. You know, I have, because I am a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Uh, one of them, she became like 90, uh, 99 years old. So she keep making plastic surgery, plastic surgery, plastic surgery. In the other day, I saw her, I saw her belly button next to her nose. Because they keep stretching it. It's very easy. So now this guy, all what he have a problem in his eye, he can fix it. With all the gold he have, all the silver he have, he can go to any doctor. The same doctor who make Hillary Clinton look beautiful and look young. He can do the surgery for him. What's wrong with you? So this is how we will recognize this guy. He can wear sunglasses. Okay, what if he wears sunglasses? How we will know now what happened to his eyes? This is how we will recognize at the jail from his his right eye. And what make Muhammad more funny? He claimed that at the jail and Allah they look exactly the same. At the jail and Allah, they look exactly the same. Let me show you the hadith so nobody will say I'm making things up. You know, the Abdul, they are very sensitive. We have to be honest. They get offended from anything, even if you say hi. You say hi, they say to you, say Assalamu Alaikum. They are good offended. Don't say hi. Assalamu Alaikum. Okay. Assalamu Alaikum. I just said salam alaikum. Why didn't answer? The Prophet said to us, Don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians. So, why you said to me, You should say salam alaikum, not hi, as they gonna go? Somebody told me that he do not like the picture which is in the screen. My friend, somebody, I'm telling you, like I'm making a, a pictures of something you like. This is what the Dajjal is drawing by the Muslims. What I not my business. You will like it more if I draw it myself. I understand because I'm very artistic and very good in draw, drawing. But this is what is in the available. Okay, we will change the eye color for you. Let us make it Islamic eye color. All right, we have. Hello? Hello, CP, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. Hello, my brother. Uh, just one question. Uh, what is the reason for the Dajjal all doing this? Because he wants to show everybody that he is the real Messiah, or what is the reason? Yeah, for supposedly that? he is claiming to be the real Messiah, yes. Okay. He wants the world and to believe in him that he is the God, he is the Messiah. 
And uh, when will uh, Jesus came back and destroy, will he destroy first the crosses and the pigs and then the Dajjal or first the Dajjal? What, what, what is the, the tradition saying? Well, you know, uh, Muhammad always, he gave uh, a lot of contradiction in his stories. Uh, however, uh, the, the, the first thing the Messiah will do is going to kill the uh, pig and destroy the cross. And look like the gel is not really important that much to the point he go to fight the the, the, the pig first <laughs> <laughs> but there are some people saying that uh when it says that you uh, he will uh, kill the pigs that means the jews is that right no 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 this is about the okay. pig no 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 a real, real pig real because yeah, they yeah. hate pig and, and uh, yeah the, pig. The, the, yes. pig, the pig he will have like two two guns and uh, <laughs> and the isa will come to him and you will hear like this whistle in the western movie like da -da 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 -da. and then he will say to him Isa will say to the pig are you Mr. Pig Mr. Pig he will answer are you Isa he said yes he said okay let's go for it I'm waiting for you for long you draw first no I draw first no you draw first and then supposedly they draw together but Isa is faster for sure yeah. you know that's such a stupid story <laughs> Yeah, you know what you can what you can say. I mean, Islam is all of it. Yeah, uh, I can't believe how any any Muslim could ever believe such a thing. I, I don't know. Well, well, that that was my question. Thank you, brother CP. God bless you. No problem. Thank you, my friend. And actually, the the jail when he meet with Jesus, uh, Jesus yeah. will not shoot at him. Do you know what will happen to that jail when he see Jesus? No. He will melt, melt like he will wax melt, or something. He like will that. melt like salt. Like salt, right? <laughs> like salt. I mean, look at this. I mean, melt like salt, right? That's it. I mean, obviously, this Isa is like he have a very powerful X-ray, and then at yeah. the jar, when he see Isa, he melt. Muslims, can you tell me why this guy he see the Messiah, he he melt? No, oh, nobody can tell. As long as you remind me about this story, so let us show it to people in the screen. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Take care. Thank you very much, CP. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following story. Let me find you the hadith, uh, which is uh, additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. <clears throat> uh, I remember the hadith, it says the following. All right. Here we go. Look at this story. This is the Jal who is so powerful, so scary. He will control all the earth. And all the earth for Muhammad, by the way, is Syria, Damascus, uh, Tabuk, uh, Ethiopia, and Medina, and Mecca. That's it. I mean, this is what Muhammad knew. Oh, like in Persia, for sure, because he have a Salman al Farisi. So here, the last hour would not come, the prophecy of the prophet. <clears throat> Enter the Roman would land at al mak in Dabiq. <coughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. <sighs> The judgment they will not come until the Roman will not or they will land in Dabiq. My friend, there is no Roman no more. Do you know that? What Roman? When we speak about Roman Muslims, what is this? What is the army of the Roman? Where we can find the army of the Roman who is exist until judgment day? Any Abdul? I want to know where we can find the army of the Roman. Russia? Who's talking? Olga from Russia? Vladimir Putin? He is the leader for the Roman? This is additional proof that Muhammad is a liar. There's no Roman no more. There's no Roman, there's no army of the Roman, there's no such a thing. 
Continue. And then, an army consisting of the best soldiers of the people of the earth at that time will come from Al Medina. The best army in the earth at that time, why? They have F-16? From Al Medina, there's the best army in the world? How is that? The American, they are protecting Al Medina. Call me, call me. I am Muslim. Stop posting text in Arabic. Nobody will understand. Call me and tell me what do you want to say. Give me a call. You know, give me, give me your name in Skype. I will call you. What was your name? What was your name in Skype? You called me before, right? Give me your name in text. I will, I will call you. I promise. I swear by the fig. I will call you. And you know, swearing by fig is big, big swear in Islam. Allah Himself He swear by fig. Allah He put a fig in front of him and He said, I swear. By the fig, I swear, I swear, I swear. I mean, somebody swear. Have you ever heard of somebody swear by fig? They make it bigger. What about watermelon? God, but yet he swear by the fig. Imagine you go to become or to become a judge in the Supreme Court with a Trump. And then because you are a Muslim, Trump, he hire a Muslim. In the Supreme Court, and then the Muslim they put in front of him a fig, and they say to him, "Swear by the fig, you will obey the Constitution." And he say, "I swear by the fig, by the fig, I do swear, I do swear." That's amazing. That's so beautiful. And then after he swear by the fig, he eat it because he's angry. <laughs> Unbelievable! This is the sweetest oath ever in history. Unbelievable! Let us continue. Guys, don't. Why you keep taking me out of my topic? Shame on you! Do you want me to ask Allah to curse you and send hell on you? He cut it from mountains in heaven, as in the Quran. Or do you want me to ask Allah to send you the beast? It's called a Jassasa, which has the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and he hit you on your nose, in your nose, and you will become black. Hmm? Allah will make people black and white. How? By hitting them by a stick and a ring? Okay, must be a true story. Let us continue. Let us continue. Please don't divert me from my topic. What's wrong with you? Stop talking about Victoria's Secret. Even Victoria's Secret have a place in Islam. Even Victoria's Secrets. If you have my book, Sex and Allah, it describes what is the clothes of the women they will be wearing in the bed. How many of you have my book? Or my books? But the last book, I mean, I mean the last book, which is Sex and Allah. Fantastic book. You should have it. You know, once the Muslims, they promised me that they are going to burn all my books. And one of them, he said, he will buy all my books and he will burn them. And since then, I'm waiting for that order to happen. I mean, why Muslims don't do that? Why you don't order all my books so you can burn them and make a video about burning my books? Buy and my, buy more. I mean, that was is the smartest threat ever I heard. Buying all my books and burning it. Do you think Muslims, I am the same as Uthman or Affan? You don't have even a copy for him? We have a lot of copy, my friend. Anyway, just burn it, just burn it. All right? Burn it and give a copy to Bernie Sander because he needs it. We go and we continue. <clears throat> All right. Here we see in the front of us that the best army in the earth will come from the city of al Medina. Look like Muhammad, he took the city of Mecca out of his calculation anymore. And they will arrange themselves in ranks. The Roman would say, do not stand between us and those Muslims who took prisoners from amongst us. 
See, Muhammad, he is reciting history now that they kidnap Romanian. They kidnap Romanian women. Let us fight with them. And the Muslims would say, Nay, by Allah, we would never get aside from you and from our brothers, brethren. And they would never get aside from you. And they way they, that they might fight fight them, they will then fight, and a third part of the army would run away. The third part, whom Allah will never forgive, third part of the army of the Muslim will run away. What a coward! I assure you, I assure you that in that army we will find Shabir Ali, Zagir Naik, all all of those uh, brothers that are. Muhammad saying that, not me. The third of his army will run away. All right. Is that what same what happened when 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 they have a war with the Israeli, and then they claim that the Israeli they kick them out? Things happen. Things happen. Let it go. And then a third part of the army, which would cons constitute of excellent martyrs, so a third of the army is dead. In Allah, I would be killed, and the third who would never be put a trial would win. Here we go. So, a third of the army is gone running, third of the army is dead, and the other third is the winner. How they win when the third of why the third of the army is running away if they are winning anyway? I mean, have you ever heard of such a story like this? But Muhammad now he's practicing his job as a prophet, and you know, it's very hard to be a prophet these days. It's not easy. It's not easy. Now, after those they win, they would busy in distributing the spoil of war. The Muslim now they are practicing their hobby, distributing the spoil of war, war amongst themselves. After hanging their sword by olive trees. What? They will hang their swords by olive tree. This is in the judgment day. In the judgment day, you Muslims, we will have swords. I think there's a better music for this story. The Pink Panther. We are talking about Judgment Day, and Muhammad is still talking about Muslims fighting the Roman by swords, and they are hanging their sword in a olive tree. Uh, brothers and sisters, your prophet never heard about machine guns. He never heard about missiles. He never heard about tanks. He never heard about airplanes. What swords and what elevatory? In the judgment day, we will be fighting by Zord. And we will hang our sword in the olive tree. It must be a true story. Ta -dum, ta -dum. My brother, true story. This is a true story. I mean, who in the world dare to say that this story cannot be true? Let it go, let it go, let it go. The Satan would cry. <laughs> what? The Satan would cry? Why the Satan is crying? The Jajjal has taken your place among your family. What? The Satan, he would do that? Guys, the, sa the Satan would be shouting and saying that the Jajjal has taken your place among your family. They would then come out, but it would be no avail. And when they would come to Syria, he would come out while they would be still preparing themselves for the battle. Drawing up the ranks, certainly, certainly, 
the time of prayer shall come and then Jesus Jesus son of Mary would descend hold on hold on hold on hold on Muslims did your prophet say that Jesus will descend descend from where from heaven Jesus the son of Mary will descend and he would lead them Muslims yes Isa yes I am Isa the son of Mary I come here to lead you takbir Allah Akbar takbir Allah Akbar okay everybody take a beer and follow me and now Isa who descended from heaven he is going to lead the Abdul to do jihad and what they will do when the enemy of Allah would see him hold on hold on hold on. this is very dangerous when the enemy of Allah the enemy of who of Allah is that talking about a group or individual guys it's about individual right it's about the Dajjal what will happen to the enemy of Allah when he see Jesus it would disappear as just as salt dissolve itself in water and if he Jesus were not to confront them at all they would uh, then it would dissolve completely but Allah would kill them by his hand and he would show them their blood on his lance and look what Muhammad he said here the Muslims they put between bracket the lance of Jesus Christ anyone notice here how dangerous what Muhammad he just said Anyone notice? Muhammad is speaking that between his lands, talking about Allah. Does it talk about Allah? Or I'm making things up? Read carefully with me. I want all the Muslims to be honest and to read with me what they see in the front of them. How this can be true. And how you still a Muslim after you read this. But Allah would kill them by his hand. And he would show them their blood. On his lands. The hand here we are talking about the hand of who the Arabic says either the Muslims they have to say that this is about Jesus he will kill all those people and Allah will show them their blood in his uh, lands or it says here in Arabic that the one who will kill them is Allah and the blood their blood will be in the lands or he will show them the, the, their blood between the lands of Jesus either way here we have something very important that if the devil or if the Antichrist present the evil and the devil he cannot be destroyed by any army by any war but when he see Jesus he will dissolve like water like salt in the water 
I challenge the Muslim to tell me why. This is the Dajjal who supposedly he can raise people from death, he can co order nature, he can do all, he can fight everybody, he will control every, everywhere. But yet, when he sees Jesus, he dissolves like salt inside the water. Any Muslim can tell me why. What is the power of Jesus the Christ? To the point when the devil or even the evil see him, he melt. Why is that? Why does the child don't melt when he see Allah? Why he don't melt when he see any other one? Do we have any Muslim? Thank you, my friend, for the one is saying hello to me. I'm sorry, I was busy watching the devil dissolving like salt. My friend, let me tell you what will happen. This is your prophet. He will dissolve like salt in the front of Jesus. This is your cult will dissolve like salt in the front of Jesus. And be, and be my witness. Time will come and you will see. But what is confirmed even in your religion, that the most powerful creature, which is the devil, he will dissolve like salt when he sees Jesus. This is in your book. Can you argue against that? And then now the question is, who is this Jesus who can, or who he earned such a power? How he can do that? The Dajjal, he just saw him and he dissolved like salt? Any Muslim can tell us what's happening? And don't tell me this hadith is weak and this hadith is skinny and this hadith is not eating good and you know this is a fabricated hadith. No, this is a sahih hadith. This is a very, very, very sahih. Very much sahih. If you don't believe me, I can call Zakir Naik right now. But the third, a person of you ask me question. Is it true that when Prophet Isa beat upon him, he's going to come back? Is it true when we see that the Dal is going to dissolve like salt? First of all, my friend, that the Dal, yes, he's going to dissolve like salt, but salt at that time is different from salt at this day. As an example, if you go to the laboratory, you will find there's many kinds of salt. They're sold for food and they're sold for chemical or chemical use. And the dal is going to dissolve like salt for food. And that I'm trying to confirm to you. But he is the bad kind of salt, which means you cannot use him for food. And I understand your worry. You are worried now that the dal is going to dissolve in the water like salt. And then we make him salt again and we eat him. Brother, don't worry. This is the dead man day. Thank you very much. This is how silly the Muslims are. They are worried that now if the Dajjal dissolved like salt and he became salt, are we going to eat salt after that? And maybe we eat the Dajjal. The most silly nation ever you can imagine. They come with all kind of silly, stupid questions. You can't even think about it. Brother, the Dajjal became salt? What if somebody sold me salt at the jail to my kitchen and I ate him? I will wake up in the morning and find myself the jail salty person. You know, Muhammad, he taught Muslims a lot of stupid things, including like as an example, that if somebody drank the milk of somebody, of a woman, she became like his mother. And her daughter became like his sister. So a guy, he took his fiancée 
and they ate ice cream together. And now he calling the TV station saying, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum, assalam, brother. Uh, brother, I have a question. Yesterday, me and my fiance, we ate ice cream together. Somebody told me that she became my sister now. Please give me an answer. I'm very confused. I'm worried to have any sexual relationship with my sister. <laughs> Unbelievable. So smart. This religion is the top religion in the world. I mean, you cannot, you cannot beat that. You cannot beat that. Do we have any Abdul wanna call me? So after all what we said until now, not even a single Abdul call. I mean, this is a shame. Any Muslim have an objection? What was the story about this guy? And what this drama is about? And if we know what will happen exactly, we know his name, we know how he looked like, we know his eye, we know his face. Even Muhammad, he described his ass. Imagine Muhammad, he described that Allah and the Dajjal, they have the same size of the ass, they have the same size of the hair, they have the same face, they have the same look, exactly, except one different. At Dajjal, he have a problem with the right eye. If we go in the Hadith, we find the following. <clears throat> of the prophet S A W S W S B M W S Mercedes said, "I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, that I am afraid you might not understand." The Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. I mean, this is a very important description. We have exactly the size of his ass, we have exactly the hair, we have how everything. And now Muhammad is still worried. He is saying, if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. <laughs> if you are confused about him being what? Being Allah. Muhammad is afraid that when the Dajjal come, the Muslims, they will believe that he's Allah. So he's saying to them, if you are confused about him and Allah, because they look exactly identical, which means Allah is a short man. He's hinted, woolly, haired, and the difference is he is eye sightless, he is one eyed. That is the only difference between them. This is why the Muslim is afraid the Muslim will be confused. If Allah is not a man and the Dajjal is a man, why the Muslim will be confused between him and Allah? Any Muslim can tell me? If Allah is not a man, how many times we heard that the Muslim saying Allah is not a man? So Allah is not a man, but Muhammad confused that he he's afraid that the Muslim will be confused by him and Allah by the look. Look, everything Muhammad he described to make the confusion go away is description of a man. He didn't say your God is not a man, he is a man. That's it. He is describing things and he said to them, one thing is different. His eye, his right eye is damaged. Any Abdul? What all of this fiction and mad this madness about Muhammad thinking that Allah and the Dajjal, they look the same? Why? Anyone? Any Muslim? 
No answer. Simply, Muhammad is a person of full of thing, you know, fictions, and the more he talk, he like to create stories. You know, he like to make up stories, and the more he talk, the more he get himself busted. Right? Any Muslim believe in this? Why Allah have two eyes anyway? Allah have two eyes. Okay, we learn now that the Dajjal have one eye, that Allah have two eyes. Why Allah have two eyes? Who is the Muslim I tell me? Any Abdul? Hmm? You see, the Muslim they keep saying day and night, Allah is not a man, Allah is not a creature like any. But look, he have two eyes, he have two fingers, he have two hands, he have a foot. He have a foot. He have a shin. We Christian we say hallelujah. Muslims they call shinnu shinnunuya. They worship the shin of Allah. Even in the judgment day, Allah He will show Himself by showing His shin. Strap these. Allah is not a man, but He is a shin. He is a hand. He has five fingers. He has two, two, two eyes. He have a face. He have an ass. I mean, any Muslim would like to call us. And now the Muslims, they see anyone, any guy, he have one eye, they say he's a Dajjal. You believe it? Because of this hadith, any guy, any poor guy, he have one eye, they accuse him to be a Dajjal. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? May they, may they. Anyone? All right. Look like today we didn't have Muslims. I think uh, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is haram to make calls. It's haram. According to Islam, it's haram to call in Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and uh, every day. It's haram. The Muslims are so good to call the Sheikh to ask him, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother, is it okay to shave under arm? In the front of my wife, a brother, she is your lawful spouse, and it's okay for you to shave your arm under arm in the front of her. Thank you, brother. I was really afraid to do that. Another call. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. A brother, my wife, she don't mind any man to touch her and to play with her. Brother, what, what? My wife, brother, she don't mind any brother to touch her and to play with her. And you know exactly what I'm talking about, brother. Oh, brother, that's very horrible. So she don't mind at all? Yes, brother, she don't mind at all. Hey, brother, can you leave for us your address under the air? Brother, why you want my address? Hey, brother, just to visit you. Anyone knows what the Prophet said about such a case? A man who his wife, she welcome any man to play with her? Anyone knows? Let me show you. 
this is not a radio station. I'm, I'm just making it as it's a radio station and phone call. But in fact, it's not. It is a Muslim guy who came to the prophet and asked him that my wife, she don't mind that anyone he do, uh, you know. You know. I mean, you know. <clears throat> A man come to the messenger of Allah and said, Prophet, my wife does not object anyone to touch her. <laughs> the Prophet said, Uh-huh. Where do you live, buddy? Where do you live? A brother, I live next to the pharmacy door. If you go to the pharmacy next to the bus station, go walk seven steps, you will find a door. It says, stupid idiot. Okay, brother, I will visit you from time to time. I promise you. I promise you I'm coming to your house. So his wife, she does not object. If anyone touch her, he said, Muhammad, okay, divorce her if you wish. The man, he said, I'm afraid. I will miss her. The prophet said, then stay with her as much as you need to. <laughs> Actually, the translation is super duper false. The prophet, he said, Enjoy her then. Enjoy her then. The prophet of Islam giving a moral answer, ethical answer. The guy, he have a wife, she obviously, she is a whore. She sleep with everybody. Complaining for the prophet. The prophet said to him, okay, well, as long as she is like that, divorce her. The man, he said, well, I, I, you know, I'm going to miss her. You know, I like her. Muhammad, he said to them, he said, okay, well, then enjoy her as much as you can. So, which means Muhammad is giving him the idea, enjoy the whore his wife, with the rest of the men. Muhammad, he don't mind. He's a Muslim. Do you see it, Muslims, or are making things up? Muslims, did I make things up? Look what Muhammad said. قال بها. Enjoy her. Enjoy her with the rest of the men. Look here in this hadith. The hadith is coming with better translation, more honest translation. I think what happened in the other hadith is translated by a different person. So this person is more honest. A man come to the Prophet S-A-W-S. By the way, S-A-W-S in Islam means like a, uh, surrounded with, no, uh, surrounded, uh, no, I don't know. S-A-W-S. I don't know. I, I I give up. S what what S A W S Muslim? What is that? What is that? My wife does not prevent the hand of man who touch her. I mean, look how honorable this man is. Look how how he's really man. This guy is a real a real man. He want to have as a husband. Especially if you work, uh, if you work as a hooker, he said the prophet divorce her. Then he then said, "I'm afraid my inner self might covet her." He said, "Then enjoy her." <laughs> Very open-minded religion, brother Muhammad. It's obviously Muhammad. He was a Democrat and he was going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Enjoy her. This is a prophet of God. A prophet of God. He is saying to a man, his wife is a whore, to enjoy her with the rest of the men who is enjoying his wife. Hmm. Okay. Do we have any Muslim? All right. 
look like today we don't have many Muslims. I think we did cover many part of this stupid fiction story about the Dajjal. But you see, the good thing about Muhammad, he is a person who speak a lot. And the more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. And poo-poo is very helping in this religion. It is the fertilizer for knowledge. You know, uh, villagers, they use manure. You know what manure, right? The poo of Muhammad is the manure of our knowledge. Because imagine if Muhammad did not open his mouth and all the manure come out. We will not know much and that will not be helpful to expose him. But because he gave us a lot of manure and manure is everywhere by thousands, but by millions. This is why it's very easy to fight and expose this cult. All what you need is just to educate yourself. This is why I advise you, all of you, to take reference, save reference of what we say. You can anytime freeze the video, pause the video, and search for the same, same words you see in the screen. Like now, you know, uh, you see here, uh, I am afraid my inner self may co uh, covet her. You can search for that. You will find the hadith, you know. And if you want, the easier way to, to always find reference, you can get my books from Amazon.com. And you will find a list of books covering tons and tons of things in Islam with a lot of reference, endless reference. So they will be always handy. You will have an index and easy easy for you to find all the information. And I encourage people who... Uh, speak languages to tell people about my uh, translated books to other languages like uh, you know in Netherlands uh, French uh, German etc tell your friends even in Swedish tell your friends so more and people will learn about this cult because at the end of the day the more we have people who have knowledge the easier it is to fight this dangerous cult which might destroy your society your economy your security Already you cannot go in the airport. You have to go in the airport two hours before the flight just because of Islam. As simple as that. You are paying at least $150 tax for your airline ticket just because of Islam, for security. Not long time ago, we used to go and walk all the way to the airplane and nobody even asked you for checking anything. Your friends, your family used to walk you to the door of the airplane. Because of Islam, all those horrible things happening. Before the airport security was exist only for drugs, etc. Today it's a lot more serious than drugs. Islam is a very dangerous cult. It's not something to ignore and just to laugh. Yes, it's stupid, it's funny, but it is comedy with a drama. Many thousands and thousands, they paid their life every year because of this cult. If you don't believe me, go and check the news today and yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before and see how many hostages were taken just yesterday in France. In Belgium, in Germany. Go and ask yourself why why in Europe right now or every city is they have police walking in the street with heavy guns, army in the, in the street because of Islam. And that costs a lot of money. And you pay for it. It's from your tax, from your pocket. And because you have a stupid government, they are welcoming everybody, including terrorists. You will have a lot of fun. So you better stand in this fight with me. Ignorance is our enemy. It's not really a terrorist as much it is an ignorance there's ignorant people those are the true enemy the one who defend Islam who made Islam look nice those are real enemy to you and I'm not saying real enemy that's mean we go and we fight them or we do violence work with them no but those people need to be exposed those who say Islam is a good religion Islam is a nice religion Islam mean peace even there are some of them they claim to be Christian ministers or Christian priests those are people working for the devil when they need to be exposed
in the other day one of you he gave me a video of those uh, uh, brothers who is debating this guy Muhammad hijab and when they ask him to debate me he run away but this is not my topic they ask him about Muhammad he said I've been ordered to kill all mankind so he said if the prophet he meant I've been ordered to kill all mankind that's mean he will kill all even the Muslims but it's not for all mankind so look at their faithy logic when he say I've been ordered to kill the people he don't mean all the people he mean only non-muslims and he is bragging about that and he is proud about it no it doesn't mean all the all the people because Muslims are not included <laughs> it's in the video one of you he sent to me the one where they challenge him to debate me and he run away like a potato I've been ordered to kill you all until you testify so yes the order to kill all mankind who don't testify it's very clear and this guy hijab suppose he's smart he said to them no 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 it's not all people only those who don't believe in Islam and that's supposed to make Muhammad a good guy so we have a nation who consider themselves a nation who believe that anyone who don't believe in Islam should die and then you have a bunch of hypocrite liberals in France in England in USA who defend this filthy cult which want to kill everybody you see the funny about those liberals most of them they are atheists and Islam and if you are an atheist you will be killed many of them they are gays and lesbian in Islam if you are a gay or a lesbian you will be killed but yet those stupid people they are in bed with Islam and they are defending Islam this was called self-destruction stupidity the Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance so don't be part of that because ignorance will destroy you and here we fight ignorance ignorance is a big big disease people die now because of ignorance every day why people did die because of cancer because we are ignorant about cancer as simple as that same as not long time ago people by millions they die from flu why because we don't know how to fight it ignorance that is ignorance and Islam is the same so help me so we can help you and we help your children and we help generations to fight this disease so may one day we find this world having more peaceful nations living together nobody hate anyone no christians hate anyone and no muslim hate anyone or no etc but as long they are muslims as they believe in islam today nothing will change and as you see every day i receive messages from those who used to be muslims and they left islam so we are very successful islam is dying and they are trying to fight it but that will not work thanks God that there is something called Arab Christians who speak Arabic who can present to you the truth not the deception they try to provide to you in their translation thank you all for being here may the Lord bless you all and until we see you soon again we say as always Christ is Lord and Islam is false See you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.